Hello and welcome to Right Now for Thursday the 26th of October 2017. I'm Tim Wilms. The aftermath of the Australian Federal Police raiding the offices of the Australian Workers' Union on behalf of the Registered Organisations Commission as part of an investigation into a $100,000 AWU donation to GetUp in 2006 when Bill Shorten was its National Secretary has dominated federal politics over the past day. The AWU and its law firm Maurice Blackburn have filed an application with the Federal Court to have the Commission investigation declared invalid or to obtain an in an injunction prohibiting the AFP from executing the search warrants any further. Given that this whole investigation was undertaken at the behest of Employment Minister Michaela Cash, it is not a good look for the government to be using its resources to persecute its political enemies. Given that media cameras were able to capture the AWU raids as they occurred, it was rightly speculated that the media must have been tipped off by Employment Minister Michaela Cash or her office. During question time yesterday, Malcolm Turnbull stated this was not true, and Michaela Cash told a Senate estimates hearing five times that her office did not tip off the media. However, during the evening, she claimed after questioning her staff again, a media advisor had passed on the information about the raids to the media and had now resigned. Michaela Cash has either been sloppy or dishonest and has clearly misled the Senate and I can hardly see how she can survive as a cabinet minister. It would appear that our police forces are preoccupied with politically motivated investigations than actually catching real criminals. Queensland police raided the offices of ABC Brisbane as part of an investigation into cabinet leaks which date back to 2012 when Campbell Newman was Premier of Queensland. The leaks contain information about proposed budget cuts and coal seam gas oversight. The raid was at the behest of Cabinet Secretary Lighton Craig, who claims the documents could have been improperly accessed. Whether this is true or not is beside the point. Cabinet leaks are commonplace in Australia, and it is never a good look in a free and open democracy for the police to be raiding a media organisation. Internationally, the Spanish government is poised to invoke Article 155 of that nation's constitution, which would revoke the autonomy of Catalonia following its independence referendum and its threat to unilaterally declare independence. It is a tragedy that the Spanish government is going down, the path, going down this path and not respecting the wishes of the Catalan people. A dangerous showdown between the Spanish and Catalan government is still possible, as Spain has made it clear that it will not accept an independent Catalonia under any circumstance. Thanks for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and check back here tomorrow to see what is happening right now then.